Now consider the velocity time graph of an object that moves under uniform acceleration. So we will first start by drawing the graph. So you can see that I have already drawn the x-axis and the y-axis and the intersection point that is O. On my y-axis I have my velocity. So I will write velocity. The unit of velocity is meter per second and I will put up the line. Similarly on the x-axis I have time. The unit is S. After I have drawn my velocity and time, since it is a uniform acceleration with some initial velocity, so I will make the graph for the same. Now I have drawn the graph for the velocity time for an object moving with uniform acceleration with some initial velocity. So this point A marks the initial velocity that the object has. So initial velocity is represented by the letter u. So this is my u, meter per second. Now the object reaches point b and here the final velocity is b. So that means that this whole distance from the base is v, right? Now what I'll do is I'll make perpendiculars from b on my y-axis and the x-axis like this and similarly on the x-axis. I label this as C and this as E. After I have done the labeling, I will draw a perpendicular from A such that it intersects the line BC at point D. I hope this part is clear to you. Now here I already know that BC is V, right? So this is a, tri a triangle and this is a square. That we did to calculate the second equation. The other thing that we can do is we can consider this hole as a trapezium. Since the area under a graph, this whole area gives us gives us the distance, so we will be calculating the area of this area under the graph in this question. To do so, the distance that is the OC here, the time in which the velocity increases from U to V is my time, that is T. I hope this part is clear to you. This will be U because since AD CO is a rectangle, so AD equals CO equals T. Let me just write it down for you. So AD equals CO equals T since it's a rectangle. Similarly, AO or OA equals CD equals U since that's the initial velocity. Now, after we have drawn the graph, let's go into the calculation part. So on the screen you can see the graph as well. What we will do first is we will find the area enclosed within the trapezium OABC under the graph. So that means that S is the, that is the displacement, S is the area of trapezium OABC. Now we already know that the sum or the area of a trapezi uh, trapezium is the sum of parallel sides times the distance between the two divide the distance divided by two right so now here we can see that sum of the parallel sides that means OA and BC are the parallel sides right times the distance is the OC divided by 2. This equation is important because this equation will give us the third equation of motion. Now what I have written, I will write it again. So what I had written was OA plus BC times OC divided by 2. Now let us see what OA is. OA is U, BC is the final velocity that is V. OC is a time taken so we have all the values and we will put it in the equation. So what I will get is S is equal to U plus V multiplied by T divided by 2. Yes. Now from the first equation from the velocity time relation I already know that V minus U is equal to AT. Right. That means I can put T as V minus U divided by A. So what I'll do is 
I'll put, I'll replace this T that I have here with this, right? And thus, what I will get is S is equal to V plus C. It's U plus V and V minus U, right? So I can write it as V plus U or U plus V is same. V minus U divided by 2A, right? A, I, I just put in the equation, this V minus U A by T, I just replace my T with this, right? Now, A plus B, A minus B in the numerator will give me the identities there. So, it will be V square minus U square, now this S upon 2A. What we will do now is the crisscross. So, we have 1 here, we will multiply it there and 2A will go here. So, from that, what I'll get is 2AS is equal to V square minus U square. This is also my third equation or my position velocity relation. So, today we have done the position velocity relation which is V square minus U square is equal to 2AS where V is the final velocity u is the initial velocity, a is the acceleration and s is the displacement. Why displacement? Because it is a velocity time graph. So, the area under a velocity time graph gives you displacement and area under the speed time graph gives you the distance. I hope this is clear to you. If you have any doubt, please do write it in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.